Hello YouTube, many of you know me, DSC, as the number one source for finding out whether or not an anime is worth watching or not. Now sometimes my reviews aren't 100% serious, or I, I, I like to crack jokes in some of them, as many of you find them extremely hilarious, but today I want to take a more serious tone. Um, now my number one priority is informing people on whether or not they should like something. Uh, now, usually that goes with gook cartoons, video games about gook cartoons, or the like. But today, I'm going to venture into the automotive business and review the Honda RSX V6 2001. Now, in order for this review to reach a broader audience, I'm going to have to go in-depth on all of the technologies found within this vehicle. Now, if you're not a car person, don't worry. I'm going to explain each and every system in this car, what it does, and why it's there. So to start out, I'm going to have to list off uh, some of the features specific to this car uh, and what differentiates it from other cars. Now, the first defining feature of this car is its utilization of the four-wheel drive technology. Now at first that might sound a little bit daunting, but it's really very simple. Um, what it means is that the power from the engine is translated to the wheels through a sort of tubular system in the center, uh, sending pressure to all four wheels at the same time. Now this means that uh, you get more traction in corners. Um, if you're one of those crazy little Japs, you can uh, get your back end out if you put the power down, but uh, that's not really... Now the other most defining feature of this car that makes it a little bit more special than any other car you find on the street is the fact that the transmission has been turbocharged. Now again, in theory this is not all too complicated. Uh, if you don't know what a transmission is, it's essentially what uh, powers the car forward. It turns the engine power into car power. Uh, now turbocharging it simply means injecting more power into the transmission. Now usually this means more wear on the clutch, but uh, because this car has an automatic manual transmission, it uses a liquid clutch, so this is not a problem. Aside from those two standout features, the rest of the mechanics inside this car are uh, a little more standard. Um, that doesn't mean they're not worth looking at, and as such I'm going to explain them so that you might have a better idea of what you're getting when you purchase this car. Now if we freeze frame right now. This is most commonly referred to as the center console of the car. Now there are three important aspects of this. To the far left there is the speedometer, in the center there is the tachometer, and to the right there is the electronics. Now to fully understand this, you're going to have to see it in action. Now if you are paying attention, you'll have noticed that the speedometer went up, but the tachometer didn't. Now all this means is that since I was stationary, um, the speed of the engine went up while the tachos stayed the same. Now if you've been paying attention this whole time, you'll be asking, DSC, you said the engine was a V6, but I don't know what that means. Don't worry, I haven't left you out. When I said this engine was a V6 at the start of the video, uh, that wasn't quite uh, accurate because this is a four-wheel drive car. The engine in the front is mounted sideways so that the rotational velocity density can be better transferred to all four wheels at the same time. Now, if that sounded a little bit complicated, I'm sorry, but, you know, car people, sometimes they can just keep going and going. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, this isn't really a V6. Because it's oriented sideways, it turns into an I6. Now, uh, the I simply means that the cylinders are straight in a, in a line, not so much a V since it's sideways. Hopefully I've managed to clear the air on some of the more daunting terminology found when purchasing a car. And now that you understand the mechanics behind this vehicle, I'd like to formally start my review of it. 
I give this car a 3.7 out of 18.